Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News. A little fun fact, I had a beautiful video planned for you guys. I recorded it, took me about 45 minutes to make in beautiful green scenery of which I'm about to show you guys a clip if I do not forget. Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another crypto video news on Solana. But Apparently, if you record these videos with AirPods in, then the moment that you try to change the this, it just starts to mess up. Um, but long story short, what's happening to Solana right now is a very big deal. For all of you guys that do not know, they just announced over on basically everywhere this. Mainnet beta outage. Block production on Solana. Mainnet has halted. Validator operators should prepare for a restart in MB validators on Discord. Then again... If we scroll down a little bit, you'll see it's not the first time. Um, it's happened a couple of times in the past before, and I've covered it in the past before as well. But yeah, right now is another major outage, and they just put over on Twitter that they had to take it down for an indefinite amount of time. And obviously, the price did not react to it that nicely. Hey, look at that face right there. So the price has obviously gone down pretty significantly over in this little piece of time. Price has gone down from right about, let's see if we can actually put up a... Where can we find this one? Uh, let's just grab it, I guess. This one right there. It's gone down from about $45 or so all the way to about 41 points. Some. It's about 10% down or so over the last five and a half hours. But over on Bitcoin, I think it's even more interesting. I do not have it stored there, I guess. Let's just type it in then. Over on uh, Solana to BTC. If I can do that. Okay, that's awful, but there we go. Solana versus BTC. You see the price is about 5.5% down or so over the last couple of hours, and it's still dumping versus Bitcoin as probably. A lot of people are starting to find out that this happened. It just happened about an hour ago or so, and people are also thinking as to where their priority should be, but there's a couple of other things which take place here. If you do not know, right now people are debating whether or not it's a smart idea to hold on to Solana, or it's better to sell it and then buy back cheaper. The reason I'm saying that is because you have an outage that is not on its own. It's not in a bull market where people are like, ah, let's forget about it. Let's start buying massively yet again. That's a strategy that I've been going for for a little while, but it might not work here. And the reason why is because right now Bitcoin is going down. I showed you guys the inflation numbers. I talked to you guys about all the reasons as to why Bitcoin can follow along with that. But I digress. Solana is in a position right now where even though I don't think this product is going to fail, I have 0% Okay, let's say 1% uh, that I think is going to fail. I, th I think it's going to just recover and do amazing. We know the backing, right? We know the institutional investors behind Solana are amazing. They're not going to let this one fail. They're not going to let this one go down. They'll save it every single time. And little fun fact, I met up with the Solana people uh, for, the, for the entire weekend, I guess. I've been talking to them. I asked them this question. I asked them this every single time. What are you going to do about the outages? The community does not like it. What are you going to do about it? Their answer is always the same. Well... We're going to try and fix it as soon as possible. It's our main concern as well. We understand. But there's one thing you guys can understand. Decentralization is one of the biggest issues that people call up for Solana. They say, well, you see, it has its trouble with keeping alive and it's it's centralized piece of garbage because it can be halted, yada, yada, yada. A lot of people don't even know exactly what defines something as decentralized. Why am I saying that? Well, because the definition is very hard to, to grasp. When is something properly decentralized? Is the BNB chain properly decentralized? Maybe, right? There's definitely some arguments made as to why it's not. Is VeChip properly decentralized? Maybe. It depends on what you define that way. Bitcoin, some people will make the argument that Bitcoin is not properly decentralized because a couple of institutions have such a big control over it. But I digress. For Solana, I personally think it's a very smart idea to buy every single time that it dips and, and just kind of catch the, the way back upwards. But I do understand the argument as to why people are not buying it as well. So I'm not really, you know, kind of saying that people are stupid or so for that reason. You know, I, I think there's a good argument to make as to why you shouldn't actually go ahead and buy these different things like Solana. <laughs> um, there's replacements, some people have said. I checked over on Twitter. A lot of people were very negative Nancy's. They're saying e-gold and a lot of coins akin to that are the ones that you should be going for, like Algorand even. Uh, fair, all right, partially fair game. I think Algorand is a juicy crypto. I honestly think a lot of people should be uh, looking into it even more. It's also properly institutionally backed. Um, and, and the same thing, I guess, goes for e-gold. I honestly do believe it's a pretty good crypto. Eron is um, very solid and it will most likely 
kind of follow the same faith as all these things which are properly institutionally backed. But given the argument as to why you should buy Algorand over Solana, I don't think it's a really good one. Mostly because even though the outages are not as apparent, sure, there's right now a very big institutional pressure over on Algorand where they're basically selling the top of our heads. Even Algorand posted on Twitter a little bit earlier, wow, look at how much our supply is going up. It's crazy, right? But in reality, all that's happening is it's going from the, I guess, the total supply to circulating supply, the tokens that the biggest institutions were holding or where they can now sell on the top of your head. So it's not really necessarily a uh, very good thing. Point being, though, Solana, well, even though they have outages, which is not that nice, we know they're progressing. We know they're going really pretty rampant. And right now, it's just a really juicy opportunity to get into a lot of these projects very cheaply. Outages, we know they're here, but they're going to be here for only temporarily. It's the same thing as saying, like, Oh, Ethereum is proof of work. It's garbage. So Ethereum is garbage forever. While well, they're trying to upgrade it, for example. They're trying to go to the next step. They're trying to upgrade these things, make these things better. With Solana as well, even though I think the outages are really garbage, taught, like bottom tier garbage, I do think they'll come over and it'll grow as a network as the entire crypto space is still in some infancy sort of stage. I think they'll get over it. Let me just put it like that, bluntly said. So what is the consensus here? What am I trying to say? I don't think Solana is dead. I don't think Solana is really bad. I honestly think we should just cut them some slack and understand, okay, there's outages. It's part of their growth. It's part of the way in which they're trying to do this. It's properly institutionally backed, so it'll most likely not fail at any one of these points. Is it really that stupid to keep buying this crypto for that reason? I don't think so. Right now, it's just following along with the Bitcoin price. So is it smart to buy now? It depends on what you think or perceive is gonna happen to Bitcoin. But generally speaking, I think Solana is a really good crypto and we're going to keep buying it until the freaking end of times, right? I think the ecosystem of Solana is great. I think the community is really nifty and really nice. Yeah, I don't really see that many bad sides. Outages, is that the worst thing? I mean, you, you might say and bring up the argument, well, outages are the most important thing in the crypto market. You have a little bit of a point, right? If the network is out or halted or something like that, that's like the worst case scenario. Then again, I have to cut them some slack for saying, well, but they fixed their problem every single time in the past. And the fact they're so resilient to come back from these things shows something, right? Shows something if a network has a problem, they acknowledge that they know it, but seem to be able to fix it every single time and grow from it. You might say, well, they haven't grown because they, they keep crashing. I think they're growing from it because they acknowledge the problem. They know they have to step away from this and they're still here. All right. But yeah, just a little quick little update on Solana. I just want to say that they're down, but it's not a really big deal. If you ask me, if it was a big deal, then you probably didn't watch this video. Because then you would have most likely just kind of stuck away from anything Solana related because you think it's garbage. It's happened a ton of times before. It'll most likely happen again <laughs> until the moment that they fix it forever, which is not now, I don't think. But we'll see how long it takes. We'll see what the results are going to be. I personally think trying to time this dip, trying to buy Solana the moment it goes down, like a couple hours afterwards maybe, uh, and it catch your way back upwards might be a good strategy. But we'll have to analyze that a little bit more properly because I don't have the numbers on that to showcase whether or not it's a good or even a very bad idea uh, to buy the dip, basically the Solana dip every single time that it goes down. Uh, but I'll calculate that next time. For right now, I just wanted to make this video again, right? Because I already recorded about 45 minutes worth of footage and I'm going to either re-record everything or just upload my XRP video with the bad sound and then this one I redo. I think that's the best thing. And then I have another video, but that's only small, so I'll just throw that one out the garbage as well, or to the garbage. Sad, but the truth, all right? Sad, but the truth. I'm going to try and include a clip. I'm not sure how to edit it, though, on my phone, so we shall see if I will do that. Maybe not. <laughs> Adios.